Do this direction is an uh, all brand new back row, back row, back to back row, it's completely, completely ruined, but this is a rebrand. Like, the link to the video will be the description below. Go and check them out. So let's get into this fucking week to one. It took me a minute to feel comfortable using the griddle because yeah. I was afraid to get it dirty. I remember the first time I did the griddle. Yeah. Mm. Hello and good morning everyone. Welcome back. Sun is shining. The flowers are blooming in our house. They're not blooming outside yet. Have a little pep in our step today because that sun is shining. The rain has stopped. Feels so great. Next week we're getting snow. We are hanging out. Brandon is reading with the kids. Brexy Doodle has a book report coming up. We got two books going here, mom. The kids Hazel's is about away. the creepiest oh, care of her. It's a creepy pair of underwear. That's yeah, very scary. That's Why is that a book? Why is that at your school? <laughs> don't know. It's at the library. And this, the sour grape. Well, oh, the funny. sour grape seems a little bit more normal. We're not supposed to have food in this room. Sorry. Brexton, what are you reading? The Wild Robot. Ooh, Ooh I like it's that. It's about all the books. Books. The I robot. Like it. Brexy has a book report coming up at the end robot. of this month. We're going to make a poster or do something creative. Yeah, I'll probably make a robot. <gasps> Bring in Wade <gasps> for your robot. Oh my gosh, he's not a robot. He's a mannequin. Could be. Put a little robot head on him. Boom, he's a robot. Yeah, I'll make probably just draw this robot on a piece of paper. Very cool. Rye guy. I thought he was doing something. Turns out he is just playing, playing checkers. checkers. Okay. Works your mind in a way. Still been brainstorming. <laughs> Ryler's video, we came up, can't say we. Hazel actually came up with yeah. Ryler's idea for his student council video. He's running for vice president. It's gonna be funny. It's gonna be good. We're gonna make it this weekend. He has to make three posters. We're working on those. It's hard to be unique and creative. Not do the same yeah. thing that every other kid's gonna do. We've got a lot of things we're working on today. I have been busy. You guys won't see it now, but I did post it over on Instagram on Mindy's Best. I posted my tablescape of what we're gonna do for Easter. We have bought all the things to make it so beautiful. I'm so excited. Do we have people coming over for Easter? No. We're gonna have a pretty table for the six of us and it's gonna be amazing. Just thinking it's a little bit after Easter. Maddie comes home. We've already planned our trip and booked our flights to go receive Maddie home into the United States. We cannot wait. She's been serving her mission for our church, the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints in the Dominican Republic. She has been living very far away. We're so excited to have her back. Lots going on today. We are actually going to be heading out soon. A couple, how long ago was it? Maybe a week ago. We went out and made a kit for foster kids who are transitioning into adulthood going out on yeah. their own. We bought all the things that we've been storing right here to donate. We're going to be going over and donating those today and doing some service projects at our church. We're going to have a fun afternoon with the kids. It's going to be awesome. Kirby is practicing piano. And you guys, I have to tell you something exciting happened today. I got a phone call from the piano gallery. That's where we bought our piano from. You notice we've had a piano in there yeah. since we moved in. That is not our piano. That is a loner. Maybe I should have shut those doors. <laughs> That's a loner. We actually ordered a Yamaha Baby Grand piano like a month or two before we yeah. moved in. A month or two, I guess, before they staged the house. And it has taken several, several, several months to get here. So we ordered it back in October. It's now here. So they're going to be coming next week to deliver our brand new white baby grand piano and I cannot wait. The one we've had has been awesome. The one we ordered is just gorgeous. Really want them. Just got back from dropping off the kits at the, what are they, apartment kits? They are the apartment kits. It turned out to be so much more going on there, guys. We got the quilt while we were there. We were stuffing like stuffed animals. We stuffed little dolls. And I learned the greatest story about these dolls. They seem like very kind of plain and nondescript. But the kids actually at the primary children's hospital get to take these dolls and do whatever procedures were done to them on the doll. So they can put a bandage on it. They actually kind of let them put IVs that. into the doll. So they come very basic, very generic. And the kids get yeah. to make them their own. That's so that's kind of cool too. Kids got to help with that. Like 
like even the kids all learned how to quilt, quilt yeah. and then you have yes. to tie like a square knot but there's a certain way you like put it over I've never quilted in my life I'm sitting there quilting putting needles in and out and I'm like where's my mm -hmm. thumbelina what's the thing that you put on your thimble where's my thimble I need this guys you can't, you can't quilt without a thumbelina <laughs> anyways that was cool that's awesome. And that's just like the big push, the big day. But then there's also some other stuff going on. We dropped off some flyers for some food drives and Riley's yeah, gonna go help pick this stuff up on Saturday. So I love how much right now this area is hyper involved in service and humanitarian so efforts. And it was very cool to get involved and for the kids to spend their time after school today doing that. And I'll admit they're making a lot of jokes about how we said it would only be an hour and turn into a lot more, but they have been very, very cool yeah. about it. Actually quilting, literally doing all these things, really sewing, fun. having a good time. I just think it was great. Smiling, I talking, laughing. it was good laughing. for them to learn some of those little skills. Yeah, like threading a needle. Where are you gonna learn that if you don't do something like that, you know? So you guys learn how to do that it today. It was fun. Nobody handles like KB12. Hey, do you think if you make the basketball team, you'll have your number be 12? <laughs> that would be kind of sick, dude. Don't let the uh, super sunny weather fool you. It's actually quite cold. I can't even feel my uh -huh. fingers. Crew's ready to go. Another 150 rounds here, but I think I'm good. I did have to say, we're loving having the sport court free of snow, able to come out here and play on it, but we're noticing they told us that yeah. this could happen and they promised us they'd take care of it if it did. And unfortunately it has. The paint never had the opportunity to cure because it got cold too soon. We had about maybe 36 hours at most where it wasn't freezing cold. And then you guys have seen, we moved in, it started snowing, getting cold, and it has not let up since. And so the paint did not take. So not just the main court paint which you can see just patches everywhere that have just come up but the lines themselves completely worn off also you guys don't forget this is a pickleball court which we still haven't played but like these lines all faded out so we have dominant pickleball lines which are the darker lines and then what they call ghosted lines where you can see the key a three-pointer free throw line things like that but all that's gonna have to be redone and at first i was like oh no our brand new court we never even got to play on it but talk to the guy yeah said, bro that was always a possibility and i got you 100 as soon as it's warm mm -hmm. enough days in a row we'll come out redo the entire thing get it fresh put the logo at center court so we'll have a circle in the middle for the Bingham logo in the middle, so that's all coming that'll up. So, so that'll be amazing. I do think that I got a little bit duped though by the sunny mm -hmm. skies because it's actually freezing cold. Yeah. I'm gonna go back and warm up. Mom has got a great dinner going mm -hmm. for a cold day. So uh, we each got to choose like a meal, and this one I feel like either was your I choice. Yeah. yeah, this was your choice. So this is the grilled cheese and tomato soup. I'm so which at first I thought was not appropriate. Today soup. Like a sunny warm day, but it is appropriate. I am yeah. freezing. The other thing we've been telling you guys about, but haven't really shown you yet. First of all, there's more deer poo than there is grass back here. I know. We've talked about the grass, how it was wet rolled in late season. So basically you just have to stay off of it and then it will take in the spring as it grows in. But right now it's still just sawed laid on top there. Because it's been so wet and so soggy and it's just so densely drenched, the deer have walked all over it. So there are just holes everywhere in it from the deer hooves, deer hooves, however you say that. So each time we come out here, we can't walk on it still. So we take this roundabout way up and around the mulch, up over the rocks, up to the top of what will be the water slide hill eventually. We are also anxious to be able to actually use the grass at all, but I think it might be a while because we're gonna have to give that time to set in, to actually take root yeah. and to grow. But dude, I haven't really been out here since we were out here when we were heating the pool between Christmas and New Year's. Mm -hmm. I am geeked out of my I'm mind so for the fun we're going to be having back here spring and summer. This is going to be <laughs> so, so insane. Mm. Cruise choice, custom cut. Grilled cheese going down on a cold but gorgeous March evening. I, know, I don't know what I call it, spring. Outside, it was like, cold, it was very cold. Know? But we are coming in to warm ourselves with some hot soup, some warm grilled cheese, and some yeah. good old Garlic. Southern Cash comfort. Garlic, Christmas. Woo. I have been using the griddle though. Oh. And I were just talking about this. That really? It took me a minute to feel comfortable using the griddle because yeah. I was afraid to get it yeah. dirty. I remember the first time I did the gritty. I say right foot creep on the way they eat them all. Is that what we're talking about? Now I love it. Mm. It takes a minute to warm up though. Yeah, kind of like me to you. Like it took a minute to warm up. <sighs> okay, guys, here we go. I don't know who this random guy is in the house. I think he's your dad, but not quite sure. It's me. Nice to meet you guys. And I'm excited to be here because the food looks good. Woo! The kids are cute. I'm so excited. And I'm ready to eat.
don't know if you've shown any of this, but mom set out a bunch of Easter today. I didn't show any of it. So we've got Easter, St. Patrick's Day behind Gotta us. Gotta go over to Mindy's Best. There's a little bit of confusion going on here in the house. We had Valentine's napkins for dinner. Tomorrow was actually St. Patrick's Day. So kids are able to wear green to school, fun green yeah. shirt, normal uniform pants. Yes. Bruxton's got a little performance out of school. And then mom is leaving us for an overnighter with the young ladies in the neighborhood. I know. Fending for ourselves here. We'll be roughing it ourselves here at the home. Are you kidding? You guys are so excited to eat out. <laughs> Eating pizza <laughs> and playing games. Meal. This is gonna be amazing. No, we've been having some banger meals. Tonight's was fantastic. This whole week yeah. has been great. We do leftovers on Wednesday. I kind of like the system we've got going here. Friday or Saturday we eat out. But you guys, I can't wait to see what happens tomorrow morning. I Hazy's been telling me that the, the leprechaun's leprechaun gonna turn milk us. green. What? Leave green urine in the toilet. I was like, what a strange leprechaun this is. We'll see if he weirdy. finds our house. I don't know if he's gonna find this house. I don't know if he'll find it this time. He'll be confused because he's gonna see Easter out on the table, shamrocks hanging over the stove. Maybe he'll come, maybe he won't. We love you so much. Thanks for hanging out with us today. We'll see y'all tomorrow. Are you gonna wear green or can I pinch you? It's not tomorrow yet. <laughs> okay, good night. <laughs>